taking our reflective tape from our roll that we bought from Green. Let me see, hold that up there so I can see it. That we have bought from the internet, which is basically a transparent reflective tape. And there's a little adhesive on one side. And you take that off with a piece of tape. And we have our dish. Where'd we get the dish? From our neighbors, Dean and Nancy, who worked at KVH. Mm -hmm. And we are now... So what did we have to do to prepare that dish? We... So first off, this is our second time um, putting this reflective tape on. Our first time was our first try, and first tries never worked out as planned. So what um, did we do to prep the dish? But what we did to prep the dish is that we took a piece of sander with some fine grit sandpaper. We sanded off the original paint, which was not helpful, and then we the, we got it all sanded out so it was just bare metal. Then we took a uh, black gloss paint, uh, spray paint. We painted it black, as you see here, because since this tape is transparent, it will go through and we will lose some light through the transparent tape going on to or just bare metal. So we painted it black, and that is also just like a mirror. If you ever have taken a mirror off of your wall and broken that, the back of it is always painted black so you don't lose any light. And what we are doing is we are taking, right now, taking the backing off of the reflective tape and slowly putting it onto our this is your processor. Our dish. So what we are doing is What's the trick here? The trick is since we've done this three times before is that you slowly do it with patience and you start on one edge and go to the other. As you can see there are still some mess ups in our so you're trying to get board. no bubbles. We're trying to get no bubbles because it is supposed to be a parabolic dish. So I'm guessing that the bubbles would what? What's the detriment of bubbles? The bubbles would, instead of reflecting it into one point up here, up to the top, it would basically disperse all the light everywhere because it is more of a circle. So you're losing, you're losing light to your focal point. Yes. That looks like a very fun project. Are you having fun doing this? After three times, not really. <laughs> it's fun when you get to burn stuff with it. Yeah. It is worth it, though.